Today I got something really exciting. Finally, I'm gonna get that fast internet speed that I was hoping for. So if you wanna learn how to get the maximum speed of your internet and how to utilize it correctly, stay tuned. Look at that. Look at that. I still have the same plan. Hey guys, this is Asan and welcome back to yet another video where I'm gonna show you guys the best technology out there to make your life just a little bit easier. So if this is your first time, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button as I always have new video right there for you. So I am tired of Comcast. Unfortunately, I have no other option but to deal with Comcast. But one thing that I decided to do, one thing that I learned is that the internet speed that the provider gives you, if you wanna know how fast your internet speed is, get the speed that your provider gives you and then divide it by 10. Because here's the deal with companies like Comcast and companies like, not Verizon, but Comcast, Cox, Time Warner, all these companies, they say you have, for example, 200 megabyte download and 15 megabyte upload. Now, what does that mean? That means that you have a fast internet, but the thing is that you never get that speed. And why you never get it? Because that's not only your speed. The speed that they give you is the speed of the whole neighborhood. That's how much each section they have it zone by zone so that's how much this zone is gonna get so if it's in the middle of the day and everybody's at work you may have a good inner speed but if it is uh, at night and you're back or on the weekend and everybody's surfing watching video downloading that means your inner speed is gonna be down tremendously so what can you do about it basically nothing there is nothing you can do for me myself I'm unfortunately in a place that I have to deal with Comcast even though uh, I truly truly think Comcast is the worst service out there because they advertise something and then you never get that service and unfortunately Verizon doesn't have uh, doesn't provide service to my address. So I have to deal with Comcast. So the one thing that I could do to make sure that I maximize my usage of my internet is to get my own equipment. And another thing is that, that the equipment that they sell you is a ripoff. They charge you 12 bucks a month for a product that is not gonna be yours. You have to turn it into them at the end of the day. And on top of that, the 12 bucks or the 20 bucks that you pay, depending on what item you rent in, it's all uh, it's all waste of money because the equipment they're gonna give you is not a good equipment. Keep that in mind. They make millions of those equipment, so they try to cheap it out as much as they can and save money as much as they can. Versus you could pay about 200 dollars get an equipment like this that is gonna last you a pretty good amount of time and I'm gonna go over that for you and say why it's gonna last you a pretty good amount of time and not pay those monthly fees and maximize your performance so in this case the Ares SB8200 is the new modem 3.1 surfboard modem that can provide up to 10 gigabytes of speed 10 gigabyte now that is crazy that is absolutely crazy and when I say 10 gigabyte of speed trust me right now the maximum speed that Comcast offers is 200 it's 2 gigabyte and for that 2 gigabyte you have to pay like $300 a month so with this you are pretty much set for the next five to 10 years. I guarantee you, you're not gonna get more than 10 gigabyte of speed anytime soon, unless you're doing something extremely crazy. In that case, 
you're not even getting regular uh, Comcast provided uh, internet. You're going with business or something. So for gaming, for going live, for doing whatever you want to do, I highly recommend the surfboard modem. This is just amazing. Look at the box. 10 gigabyte of speed. And on top of that, it is compatible with both Xfinity and Cox, and it's gonna work definitely with Verizon and all other companies. It's only these two companies that are a little weird, so they have that. Ugh. So they have to have their own product. But with this, you're all set. This is the 3.1 cable modem that can provide up to 10 gigabyte of speed. And trust me, guys, I had this at my office and I installed it, I had 200 megabytes of speed, but after I installed this one and I run a speed test, I had 280 megabytes of speed download. And upload was somewhere around 15, somewhere around there. I don't remember. But today I have upgraded my internet from 200 to uh, 600. Was it 600? No. I have upgraded my internet from 200 to 800. And in order to do that, I had to have this device. Now, again, looking at the back of it, this is what you're getting. This is surfboard uh, 141, 18.3, 190, and 200. 200 is the best. It's great for multimedia streaming. It's great for 4K video streaming. It has two years of warranty, so let's open it up and let's see how it actually looks. First look, I'm going to take the tape on the bottom off and there you go. We have a couple of information right here and let's open this bad boy up. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Does it come off like this? Nope. We take this one out and we put the box to the side. We have trouble, call this number, trouble, call this number. We have safety and registration. Uh, we have important information about your surfboard. Make sure you don't share this information with anyone. Otherwise they can hack into your system. That's that. And then we have the beautiful modem right here. It's a it's a little heavy and you're gonna you're gonna feel it because there's quite of technology packed into this little thing. And I am excited. How do you open this? Ugh. This is what happens when they don't make it easy on you. Put that aside. Oh, of course there is an easy way to open it. And voila comes with one of those beautiful do not eat uh, moisture absorbent always good to keep those put them inside of your bag your equipment your electronic your gadget and etc next we have our power adapter it is a regular power for me in focus this is a regular power adapter that we have and uh, yeah, what is it? Is it 12 volt? It is 12 volt. Five, 12 volt, 2 amp, 50 to 60 hertz. Works with both 220 and 110. So 240 and 110. So you're all set. For those of you who do not live in the US and have 220 outlets. And this, the next thing that it comes with, comes with one Ethernet cable to connect it to your uh, router. Now again, this is just a modem. If you want wireless internet, you need to get a router too. And for that, I recommend the Asus. I'm gonna link it down below, go check it out. Amazing router. Gives you the full uh, experience. And this is the, are we in focus? This is the beautiful modem itself. Listen to this beautiful sound. Let's let's take this apart. This is the most enjoyable moment. Let's see. Take this 
out, turn it upside down, and voila. Now the most satisfying sound is this one. Check this out. Oh, yo, 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 this feels good. This feels awesome. And then finally, we shall take this plastic wrap off. Here's another good thing about it. Forgot to mention, you could connect one of it to your router and get that Wi-Fi speed. And then if you're doing some editing or live streaming, you could connect another one directly from your modem to your tower, to your PC or to your laptop or if you game to your PlayStation to get that maximum speed possible. Get the maximum speed you could do that and it is awesome. One thing that I recommend is to not put this in an enclosed space because this is gonna be working really hard and it's gonna it's gonna make some heat so it's better to be in an enclosed uh, in an open place or at least have a place to to have a place to kind of air it out using my phone and I'm gonna show you guys the speed that you can get and we shall press go look at that this is my speed right now before I upgrade still going we're still going so we got 218 download and 11 upload so give me a second I'm gonna go install this and we'll be back. Here's what happened. Comcast. Comcast, Comcast, Comcast. Jesus, Comcast. Apparently, when you wanna change your service, as always, you have to be on the line for two hours explaining to them and uh, all of those stuff. So eventually I got to someone, talked to them, upgraded my service to one gigabyte and uh, everything is fine hung up installed the modem just to find out that my internet is not working so just for you guys in case you guys do this in future this is what you guys had to do so i contacted them back again and i said that my internet is not working i mean i wasn't getting anything zero speed uh, even a Google wouldn't open so I contacted them and after 30 minutes of them telling me to unplug it plug it back in unplug it and plug it back in they said I told them well this is a new modem you shouldn't do this and they said oh it's a new modem why didn't you tell us why didn't you ask me I mean you are supposed to ask me is it a new modem you just upgraded it anyway Maybe I should have told him in the beginning, but I thought since I was talking to the other representative and I told her the situation, I mean, she was aware of me changing the modem. Anyway, cut the story short. Finally, I found out that I can't have one gig until somebody comes in and, and install it for me. Apparently, they have to change something in the outlet. They have to, they have to do something, but... I want to show you the difference. I still have that old internet of mine. Now, as I promised you, I want to show you how to double your speed with zero effort. That took zero effort. I mean, minus all the talk that I had, but this is how you double your speed. Check this out. Speedtest.net. And then we are connecting. Look at that look at that I still have the same plan my 200 megabyte of internet this is what is picking up on a phone this is the internet that is picking up 
on my phone in a different room. So imagine if you plug your computer to the computer, if you plug your computer to the modem, what speed you would get. So I assure you guys that if you are trying to improve the health of your internet, let's do it one more time. There is no gimmick in this. This is what you can do to your internet. A simple little box and it will last you a lifetime. Some of you will last you a lifetime. Some like to explore. And as always, in this channel, my goal is to explore the best tech, best equipment for you guys every day. So if you like the content that I gave you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe. Leave a comment down below. What type of modem do you have? Are you renting or are you gonna buy your own? As always, until the next one, stay happy, stay classy, and stay beautiful.